Let's ask ourselves the very basic question. What is an electronic circuit? I will read with you these paragraphs and then we'll describe it a little bit in depth. It is basically a composition of individual electronic components connected by conductive wires or traces through which electric current can flow. That's an electronic circuit. Also, this combination of components and wires allow various simple and complex operations to be performed. So when we connect these components together, a function is um, uh, being performed. On the right hand side, we see an electronic schematic. We see an electronic circuit. It doesn't matter right now at this stage of the course what this circuit actually does, but we converted we actually turned to printed circuit board, and printed circuit board, PCB, is the picture on the center, and we see the PCB, we see the components and traces, copper traces on the PCB that connect the components together, and they actually located, placed one next to each other in some certain um, form. We look at the component side of the PCB in the center, and if you go to the left, we see the print side, we see the other side of the PCB, printed circuit board. So components in a schematic turn uh, to PCB, PCB component side and print side. If we continue to analyze what is electronic circuit, we basically can distinguish between three different type of families analog circuit, digital circuit, and mixed signal circuit. What we have here on the left is a typical example of an analog circuit, meaning they are analog set of devices, and we will explain a little bit later what is an analog device, that connect us together and uh, do not have discrete values. They vary in terms of time and voltages. On the right hand side, we see mixed signal circuit. We see some of it is digital, where we have the three digit seven segment display and it demonstrate 888. And they are being driven by a digital device, digital uh, component. And we have kind of a microprocessor in the middle. So this is a digital segment, digital um, uh, section of the schematic. On the left hand side, the top left hand side, we see some analog uh, devices. So that's a mixed analog and digital together. Now let's go a little bit uh, in depth to what is analog circuit. And again, I'll read it with you and then we'll analyze it a little bit more in depth. Analog electronic circuit are those in which current or voltage may vary continuously with time to correspond to the information being represented. So it's a combination of series and parallel circuits and components connected together. The two uh, elliptical, red elliptical shape really show us parallel, two parallel components. The one on the left, there is a coil and a capacitor. The one on the right, there's a capacitor and a, and a resistor. It doesn't matter right now what is a coil and what is a capacitor and a resistor. We will go into that, explain in depth, in short. But we just need to understand there are uh, analog devices connected in this particular case in parallel. The rest of the, of the components are connected in a mixed uh, configuration, some of whom, some of which are series, some of which are uh, parallel, but all together when we look at this particular circuit, it varies continuously with time, voltages fluctuate, and we get some kind of output based on what we supply to the input. Now let's look at digital circuit. And again, let's read it together. In digital electronic circuits, electric signals take on discrete values to represent logical and numerical values, discrete values. Basically, we're talking about two discrete values, high and low. This is uh, written <coughs> kind of that in the third paragraph. In positive logic, 
we look at one logic as high equal 5 volts. Again in positive logic, we look at the zero logic, which is zero volt and is equivalent to low. So we have a high state and a low state. We have one logic and we have zero logic. There are two discrete values. And using a combination of these ones and lows, ones and zeros, I can describe a word, a binary word. And this binary word has one particular meaning. And when I transmit this one, this uh, set of bits, set of uh, ones and zeros, I transmit this binary word from the input to the output of from component one to component two, basically a transfer and information to be processed by the next, uh, next component in line. And that's how the flow of information takes place. Mixed signal circuit is the combination of the analog and the digital. And in this particular example, on the bottom, on the bottom half, uh, circled in this green elliptic uh, shape, it's the digital section of the schematic. The upper one in red, it's the analog one. And very easily we can see the, the different uh, fashion in terms of the connections and the components and the wiring of this electronic uh, circuitry. We see some analog you know, uh, resistors, capacitors, transistors, we will cover them all in depth, uh, in short. Um, uh, we see them as a, as a wave shapers and condition shapers to the digital section of the circuitry. Then, once we get the word into the digital section, then this digital section sends out another word, again, a combination of ones and zeros, highs and lows in positive logic, to continue transfer the information. So the bottom half is basically uh, utilizing the application using two discrete values ones and zeros. The upper half has all kind of levels varied um, based on time. 